Kan shalom or praise to Yahweh by Shimia Shai by Shun Kakadash, the Ba'on Studio Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing his truth of sincerity. I want to show you two uh, two video clips actually from what Esau is doing upon this earth. You know, one is actually in the Atlantic Ocean, and the other one will be in uh, the Gulf of Mexico. You know, the thing is that. Ezo is busy with a lot of madness upon this earth, man. You know, the most I gave them the knowledge, the technology by which they can cause destruction, wage war. But there are a lot of strange, strange things taking place right now. So the first clip that I want to show you is this clip. It shows you how Ezo is actually uh, testing um, massive uh, bombs. But the the sickening thing is that Esau is just doing this in the Atlantic Ocean and you got a lot of creatures living over here, you know, really not caring about the harm and the destruction that it's causing towards the animals. If you just just check out the explosion, man. So either man the wicked you know doing these things merely really destroying the earth is what you see taking place man testing weapons testing bombs man not just caring about the animals that are living over there just blowing and doing madness this is another thing there was a, a fire at the Gulf of Mexico after a so-called gas pipeline uh, rupture what the reason is of this thing it's 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 a strange uh, phenomenon and immediately when I was watching this thing I was thinking like oh but there was also something else taking place and then I came to this we don't know what Esau is doing well we know Esau is, Esau is testing his weapons Esau is the, the, the destroyer so this devil is busy with destroying the earth but not only destroying the earth he is testing and preparing himself to wage war and he will use the weaponry in order to to conquer anybody else or to destroy the earth man because the mind the mind of Israel is already clear their mind is like if they can't rule upon this earth nobody is going to rule everybody will die that spirit is inside of these inside of these devils man let me just play this it still boggles the mind to look at it it may look just like a scene from a disaster movie but this is real this video captured today when the ocean caught fire in the Gulf of Mexico, just west of the Yucatan Peninsula. Those dramatic images of the ocean aflame quickly going viral on social media. Some people calling it an eye of fire, while others said it looked like the portal to hell opening up. Pemex, the Mexican state-run oil company, says an underground natural gas pipeline sprung a leak that caused that mid-ocean fire. A number of firefighting boats pumped water onto the fire for nearly five hours until it was eventually extinguished. They put out a fire on the ocean. An oil platform nearby not damaged hello I'm Mark Brown you see so a lot of strange things are happening but we know that with the most of the situation the Edomites the wicked is involved these these bastards are actually involved with a lot of madness upon this earth so let's go to a couple of scriptures to show you that they are occupied in destroying the earth and trying to aim towards a new world order the book of Daniel chapter 12 is full but thou O Daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased yeah it's the most high the heavenly father Yahweh, who gave the wicked this knowledge that's why it says in the book of genesis uh, 27 he should get blessed with the sword the sword is referring to the to the weapon and this technology the weaponry the the, the knowledge the science 
you know the minds of the of the of the scientists that develop these things this weaponry the most high the most high gave them this knowledge this wisdom to develop these things and it's it's developing weaponry for the preparation of war or causing destruction upon this earth the heavenly father gave them this so the book of revelation chapter 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry and their thy wrath is come and the time of the death that they shall be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints yeah the time the time is come where the heavenly father is going to unleash his displeasure upon this earth we're living in a time of judgment the righteous will be saved for what they did upon the earth and the wicked will be judged for all the evil for all the plotting and for all the hurtful works that they have done upon this earth that's the time we're living in it says and them that fear thy name yeah because the saints fear the name of the most high we pay value unto the name of Yahweh Bar Shai, while the earth is still teaching them that the heavenly father is called by a title God while we give you the understanding God is a title which means power that's not the name of the most high his name is Yahweh when we teach people about the true name of the Redeemer, we tell them that the name of the Redeemer is not Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. He is an Israelite and his name goes back to an ancient a Hebrew name, the true name of the Redeemer and the true name of the Most High. That's why we say Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father in the name of, of, of his beloved Son. That's how you reach the Most High. It says, small and great and should sure destroy them which destroy the earth. Yeah, because they are destroying the earth, man. These people don't pay value onto the onto the land Sabbath. They don't care about the crops. They don't care about the, the fruits. That's why you got GMO, genetically modified uh, organisms upon this earth. Grapes without seed. Everything is being polluted. The same thing with chemtrails being sprayed from the sky upon the people on the earth. The whole the whole planet is completely being polluted and completely chaotic right now, out of order. And it's all by the all by the input and by the works of these elites. The book of Psalms chapter 82, verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. That's why when you look upon the earth, you can you will notice things like snow or hail falling while it's summer. You have you have extreme cold while it's summer crazy moments of of heat or or or, 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 or 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 you know of heat crazy crazy phenomena during during seasons which make you think like what is going on the whole earth is out of course because of the governing the governing the steering of those that are ruling upon this earth the wicked is ruling in the wicked the wicked is not uh, taking care of the planet they're destroying the planet and they're they're polluting the minds of the people also not to, to they all contribute onto the destruction of the earth so people are careless they are careless towards the planet they are careless towards the the life upon this earth that's why the whole earth is out of course the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 35 heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away this whole empire which you have right now where the wicked is ruling the heavenly father will completely take it down he's going to obliterate the wicked upon this earth all of them that are contributing onto the destruction all of them and all of them that are warring against the words of the most high all of them that are warring against righteousness the most high will judge them and that beautiful day is near it's near we're getting closer and closer onto that day where the most high will execute his vengeance upon all them that have been warring against them you know because the most High sees that what we go through upon this earth all the unrighteousness all the wickedness man the Most High sees it and he, he will send his beloved son who these people call Jesus Christ to clean up this earth man. This earth will be cleansed in the time of Noah. The cleansing took place by the way of water. This time the Most High will use fire. He is going to cleanse this earth by the way of fire. And this fire will be created by the nuclear missiles and that's what you see them testing right now. Bombs, weaponry. That's why you see Iran, you see North Korea, you see Russia, you see China. You see America preparing themselves. Everybody is preparing because the Most High is steering them in that way. Isaiah 54 verse 16 Behold, I have created the smith that blow the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waste to destroy. The Most High placed the Spirit on his mind, 
on these scientists to, to, to develop or to develop these weapons upon this earth man when you look back at Hiroshima you look at you're looking back at Chernobyl the most high developed all these weapons to a whole new level trying to imagine if a bomb will be dropped here in the Netherlands this place is small you drop a bomb upon this place this whole place is gone you know and that's the, the most high is going to do this man second Peter 3 verse 7 that's the prophecy out of the Bible but the heavens and the earth which are now this present empire by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire nuclear fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men the Lord will judge the wicked all the ungodly are going to perish from the earth they're all going to burn the righteous will be beamed up in a chariot who these people in ignorance call UFOs they, people are going to witness things which they have never seen before they're going, they're going to be amazed when they're going to see the salvation of the righteous man they're going to be amazed what is going to be played out upon this earth, man. And we've been prophesying about it, and it's just a matter of time before it will be played out in front of everybody's eyes, man. The book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 6, O thou enemy, destruction shall come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. <laughs> That's the time we're living in, man. This, this nation has caused so much destruction upon this earth. You only have to think about it like, man, how beautiful is life going to be upon this earth when the wicked is rooted out of this earth man no more edomites no more no more devil no more destroyer upon this earth only righteousness established man everybody submitted unto the laws of the most high everybody anybody that goes off of the law of the most High will be judged will be punished immediately that's going to be a beautiful uh heaven and a beautiful earth man and that's what we're fighting for so we're fighting for a righteous kingdom upon this earth and for striving for a righteous kingdom upon this earth you will make a lot of enemies because many people want this place to continue they want this place to continue but we don't we will expose it our spirit is vexed by all the madness that we see and the earth is mourning that the trees you know the fair trees the trees from lebanon everything is mourning everything is crying for a change of of rulership of governing upon this earth and that's what we're fighting for man shalom